protect us and preserve us from this generation forever. You, Lord, shall protect us and preserve us from this generation forever. Save us, O Lord, for there is no godly man left, for truth has fallen away from among the sons of men. You, Lord, shall protect us and preserve us from this generation forever. You, Lord, shall protect us and preserve us from this generation forever. A reading from St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. Brethren, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the authority of anything. Foods are for the belly, and the belly for foods, but God will destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God hath raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up through his power. Do you not know that there, your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I therefore take away the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? God forbid. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a person commits is outside the body, but whoever commits fornication sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have received from God, and that you are not your own, for you are bought with a price? Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Peace with you. <laughs> that falls to me, and he divided his living between them. Not many days later the youngest son gathered all that he had and took his journey into a far country, and there he squandered his property in loose living. And when he had spent everything, a great famine arose in that country, and he began to be in want. So he went and joined himself to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into his fields to feed swine, and he would have gladly have fed on the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, but I perish here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. 
and he arose and came to his father. But while he was yet at a distance, his father saw him and had compassion, and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and make merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to make merry. Now his eldest son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing, and he called one of the servants and asked what this meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and your father has killed the fatted calf, because he has received him safe and sound. But the son was angry and refused to go in. His father came out and entreated him, but he answered his father, Lo, these many years I have served you, and I never disobeyed your command. Yet you never gave me a kid, that I may make, make that I might make merry with my friends. But when this son of yours came, who has devoured your living with harlots, you killed him for the fatted calf. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to make merry and be glad, for this your brother was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found.
God from every this kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Our Father, Metropolitan, so on, may the Lord our God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. For all the members of this parish spread throughout the city and and county, may the Lord our God remember them his kingdom, always now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. For all those who suffer in our congregation and amongst our friends, for the servant of God, Angie, for the servant of God, Mary, for the servant of God, Johannes, May the Lord our God remember his kingdom, always now and ever and the ages of ages. For those whom we love who have died amongst the first, the handmaid of God, Marina, may the Lord our God remember his kingdom, always now and ever and the ages of ages. For of you, may the Lord our God remember his kingdom, Always, now and ever, and on the ages of ages.
And what's in this cup? The precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
through the intercession of the honored, glorious prophet for Adam, Baptist John, all the holy, glorious, who praise the apostle Matthias and all the apostles, all the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, for our venerable God, wherein fathers and mothers shone forth in civic life, for our father and mother saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, all the holy, glorious, and right victorious, for bears of God, Joachim and Anna, all our holy fathers and mothers, saints and martyrs of Lincolnshire, patrons and protectors of this holy community, of our holy father Basil, whose memory keep today and all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good, and allow us mankind, through the prayers of holy fathers, O oh, Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. The holy Trinity keep all of you. Good night to these people.